Welcome back, everybody, to uh, Let's Get Tenure, Episode 5. Here we are in year 37, and uh, unfortunately, the last five years of uh, gameplay were lost due to the fact that I uh, thought I hit F12, but in fact did not hit F12. Uh, however, the city's not too different from where we left off. Uh, there's a fourth tavern now. Uh, we've gone ahead and added two additional marketplaces, little satellites. As you can see, one right here. Uh, greatly expanded the pastures. And we've added a third marketplace right down here, which just got up. So some houses will be going around uh, this marketplace. And that's about it. One other little feature that I've added is a additional trading post down here. Uh, this is currently holding 500 steel tools and 250 warm coats. Uh, that are kind of like a, a bank. I haven't had any uh, traders come down here. I doubt that I'm going to see any. However, every now and then I have seen them uh, kind of, you know, move down this type, not this particular map, but I've seen them move down tributary rivers, so it's kind of unpredictable sometimes, or a little hard to predict whether or not they will come. But I'm not interested in them coming down there or going down there. Uh, that's just kind of a bank to uh, to clear out any storage that they were taking you know in my main city and when I need to I can withdraw them and then easily transport them to other trading posts uh, so this video here uh, we're gonna focus on our first impending disaster and this one's kind of hard to predict but I, I've seen this situation before so I, I know it's going to come uh, so let's go ahead and just look at the stats real quick. We have 165 adults from that really aggressive period of growth, but we, we didn't continue to grow at all after that. So right now we only have 80 children. Uh, you know, 80, in, in, 80 is one half of 160, so that doesn't look like it's going to be the end of the world. But where I'm really starting to get concerned is when I look at food. You know, I'm right now running a 3,000 deficit. I have 17 laborers, but I really do not have a lot of uh, new food jobs. And these can take a little while to build. And in the same breath of not having new food jobs, uh, I need to build some new houses to staff this marketplace. Uh, in the same breath, I have all of my trading posts turned off right now. Uh, this was done purposely so I could, you know, kind of regrow my, my wood pile reserves. But therein lies another problem. If I'm going to rely heavily on trade to import food to support my growing population, uh, I need to have more more firewood. But when you look around at these stockpiles, uh, you know they're they're not they're not that full. Um, we have some over here, so I could add additional woodcutters over here. But the problem is, as soon as it's chopped, then they'll all be empty, and these woodcutters will be traveling very far away. Uh, you know, like this guy here is when this runs out. That's not too far, but you can see where that goes. So we've got a bit of a conundrum going on. Uh, and right now we have 10,000 food, which is about 8,000, I think, from where the last video took off, left off. So these are these are some issues, right? Uh, we're gonna need to figure out what we're going to do. Uh, as I mentioned, we need food, food jobs, right? So kind of expanding down into here, once houses are built will be very important. Uh, I could probably add some in this area as well as this area. More farms obviously could be a very simple solution, especially right along this border. Could easily put some, some farms or some orchards over here, uh, as well as a, a hunter and a gatherer. Uh, so things are looking good, but you know, I wanted to just make this video to show you uh, the signs of what's on its way to happen. I mean, if you just looked at this right now, I've got 10,000 food. Uh, I'm running a 3,000 food deficit, which sounds really like a lot, but last year I did not have a lot of uh, gatherers or hunters, right? I was doing other things. I was building. I was expanding. So at the end of this year, I anticipate this deficit is going to be closer to maybe 1,000 or two. Uh, and then we can obviously just turn turn back on our trading posts and and buy some food if we need to especially with this kind of uh especially with this kind of an investment right so 
these are just some uh, good things to think about as you're playing, uh, things to watch out for. Uh, the last thing you want to do is, is realize this when you are just about to run out of food and suddenly you have uh, you know, 80 or 90 people starving to death. Uh, always, you know, again, we've talked about this in a previous video, you've always got to make sure that you are going to continue to grow. Uh, for this achievement, you need a population of 500. And for populations to kind of level off, you, you want to maybe approximately shoot to have a maximum of double that. So I'm going to continue to expand to grow to a population of approximately 1,000 and then stop growing. Uh, at that time, I might start letting in some nomads. Uh, they'll likely be living in boarding houses, so I will not be building houses for them. At that time, we'll have more boarding houses. Uh, but that will allow the population to kind of drop and then go back up and then drop and go back up. And it becomes a lot more easy to manage, you know, without having to constantly be building new things. Uh, so that's it for this time. Uh, we will make sure to have a uh, fast forward video of what happens next. And uh, I'm trying to play with some, some ways that I might be able to add commentary while that's occurring. Maybe do it after, afterwards or something. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great night.